number of years now, work has been proceeding in order to bring perfection to the crudely conceived idea of a transmission that would not only supply inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument is the turbo encabulator. Now basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it is produced by the modial interaction of magneto-reluctance and capacitive detractance. The original machine had a faceplate of prefabulated amulet surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that the two spurving bearings were in direct line with the panometric fan. The latter consisted of six hydrocoptic marble veins so fitted in the ambifacent lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal Lotus O Delta type placed in pan endemic symbol boilite slots in the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non reversible trimming pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeters. The turbo encabulator now has reached a high level of development and it's being successfully used in the operation of non vitrumens moreover, moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required, it may also be employed in the conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal replaneration.